from WBBZ TV Sports. It's time to beat the champ. Now, here are your hosts, Paul Peck and Sue Nowitzki. From Lucky Lanes in Fredonia, New York, welcome to Beat the Champ. Hi, everybody. My name is Paul Peck, along with Hall of Fame bowler Sue Nowitzki. We're here for our third week in this Beat the Champ run at Lucky Lanes in Fredonia. And Sue, we've had some great bowling matches that have come right down to the end. But right now, there isn't anybody hotter than our returning champion, the first ever returning champion in the return of Beat the Champ. Matt Zazowski is on a roll. Yeah, Matt's done a lot of hard work. We've seen him make a lot of adjustments. We've seen him figure things out, C tough matches, strike out to win. It's going to be interesting. Well, he's the first guy to ever win two weeks in a row. Can he make it three weeks in a row? It is not going to be easy. He's got to get through maybe the one bowler who is the most excited to be here that we've ever seen in Ernest Hoover. We've got Carl Kenyon, one of the great bowlers in Western New York history. And we've got Mike Zarcone back for a third week. Absolutely. Mike Zarcone. Mr. 800, that man knows how to strike. We have Gary Kinney's little brother, Carl, and Ernest came in a limo. He's oh, very yeah. excited to be here. We can't wait to tell you and let you meet Ernest because he is fired up for this one. We're fired up too. It's Beat the Champ. We're at Lucky Lanes in Fredonia. Let's get rolling. We are ready to go. There's Matt Zazowski on the left, Ernest Hoover on the right. Our first match of the day here from Lucky Lanes in Fredonia. And it's that guy, Matt Zazowski, trying to keep his winning streak going. He has won two in a row. He is now making his fifth show appearance since Beat the Champ has returned. And Matt's a lot of fun to watch, and he is one heck of a bowler. He is. He knows how to play these lanes. I really look forward to seeing this match, watching Ernest bowl. So Matt will start things off here. He gets that choice and he has chosen to go first. First throw for Matt is what we've seen plenty of him. It's a strike. Matt's coming off a couple of very impressive victories in the last week's show, uh, including a 240 to 215 win over Brad Bixby. And then he advanced on with the win over 258 to 237 in a terrific match against Jeff Martin that came right down to the end. And here is 35-year-old Ernest Hoover III from Wheatfield, New York, a full-time mechanic by trade, but one serious bowler, and we can't wait to let you get to know Ernest a little bit through this match. That's all you need to know, right, Sue? He is excited, he's into it, he's got a great cheering section here, and he is a guy that is gonna light this screen up. That was a great shot out of the gate. Put that right where he wanted it. He has been bowling for 30 of his 35 years, got into the sport thanks to his dad, and we're gonna tell you a little bit about how he memorializes his dad every time he comes to the lanes. We'll show you that in a moment. Here's his throw in the second frame. And he's off to a good start. He's off to a good start. How about that is right. Strikes on the first two throws for Ernest Hoover. Well, we're down here in Fredonia, and of course, Dunkirk and Fredonia pretty tightly aligned to each other. Just down the road is the city of Dunkirk, and we want to welcome in Dunkirk Mayor Willie Roses to here at Lucky Lanes. Mayor, thanks for taking a couple of minutes to join us here. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here, and it's good to see this program back in northern Chautauqua County. Well, and it's great. It's fun for us to be back here. We know how serious the bowlers are in this area, as serious as they are anywhere in western New York and it's been a lot of fun to get a chance to come down here and showcase not only this place but some of the bowlers we had on our last show a Fredonia resident and Brad Bixby who bowled real well tell us a little bit about as you're gearing up for the time of the year that it's fun to be in Dunkirk which is the summer with the water and the lake and the pier and everything what uh, what you're gearing up and getting ready for right now well our development department is gearing up with the uh, music on the pier series and uh, basically we're having music every Thursday, free of charge for the public. We're starting it on June 16th with uh, the band called Chicago Authority. And they are a tribute to the band Chicago. So we're real excited about it this year. Uh, we have a lot of new activities that we're bringing on with many festivals. So we're really looking forward to it this, this summer. This really is the time of year when, you, when your city gets to shine a little bit, doesn't oh, it? Oh, most definitely. All right, we're going to get, uh, we, if you were watching there, you saw Matt uh, left an open frame there in the second frame, so uh, he'll have to get back to work here again, and Ernest Hoover's already put the pressure on him a little bit. Um, 
What does it What does it mean to uh, you know again not only for us to be down here to to show off this area a little bit, but tell people that are watching this that might live in Niagara County or up in Williamsville or Amherst uh, what's special about the Dunkirk Fredonia area? Well, it's very special. It's a beautiful community, and again, our waterfront is beautiful. And we're going to be working uh, to bring in some new development in our waterfront here. So also with the new. Uh, uh, company coming in, the pharmaceutical company of Phoenix. Mm -hmm. so we're really excited about that. That's going to do wonders for our economy. So it's a beautiful place to be right now. A lot of positive things going on for you down a here. A lot of positive there? things. Let's see if Ernest Hoover can keep the positive vibe going. He can. That is strikes on his first three frames for Ernest Hoover. Are you much of a bowler at all, Mayor? Do you, you, you dabble at all in the sport? I used to bowl. I used to bowl a little bit. Not, uh, not anymore. Well, early on, as you get a look at our Castellone Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram scoreboard, Ernest has got those three strikes on the board already. And here he is in the fourth frame looking to keep this run alive. And he got a couple of ones to wobble there. One of them went down, but two of them stay up. So. It'll be a spare opportunity here for Ernest. Obviously, I, you know, I know a big part of the economy down in this area are, is, is the grapes and the wine industry. And there's a lot of wonderful wineries down here. And, you know, and, and is that something that you guys are actively trying to encourage people to get down here and tour a little bit? Absolutely. We've been working with the county IDA and uh, we have wine trails that uh, we, we always invite and encourage people to come out and visit. Um, are there tours available to take for wineries around here? There are tours available and there's information on our website on that too. Great, mm -hmm. great. It, it really is kind of tied to the area, obviously, for, for a lot of reasons. It's got a long history of that being a big part of your industry and, and, and your connection. Is that? Yes, it is. Matt with a strike there in the fourth frame. So, well, Mayor, we thank you for stopping by. We want to wish you all the luck in, in all the positive things you got going on down here in Dunkirk and, uh, and, and hopefully... Uh, being a part of this show and getting uh, exposure a little bit will open some people's eyes to make that short half an hour, 40 minute drive down from the city to uh, come down here and hang out on the beach a little bit. Thank you, it's good to be here. Thank Willie Rose, this is the mayor of Dunkirk and we thank him for joining us here at Lucky Lanes in Fredonia, right down the street, right down Route 60 from Dunkirk. It's an easy drive right off the throughway uh, and we do encourage you to get down here during the summertime. All right, back to the bowling now. And we've got a good match going and Matt a little disappointed uh, in leaving that seven pin there, but he knows that Ernest is putting the pressure on him soon, doesn't he? Yes, Ernest has come has come out ready to play today. Well, <laughs> it helps. Well, we'll talk a little bit how he arrived here ready to play in just a moment when he comes back up. I, I don't know that we've ever had an entrance to beat the champ like we did with Ernest and his family. We'll show you that in a moment. Here's Matt trying to finish off the spare in the fifth frame. He's got it. So it's three strikes, an open and a spare for the first five for Matt Zazowski. And back to Ernest Hoover, 35 years old from Wheatfield, arrived down here in Fredonia via limo. How about that for style, huh? That's right. He, uh, he, came, he came here with his family, uh, first class. Seven members of his family, his grandparents are here, his wife, uh, you know, his niece is here. He's got a whole cheering section. <laughs> Not that Great he needs shot. a lot of the cheering Fine. section, huh? <laughs> this feels like a good time to take a short break. We'll be right back with more action on Beat the Champ. Welcome back to Beat the Champ. Let's get back to the action here on WBBZ TV. Here comes the man who, as you can see on the back of the shirt, Ernest Hoover Boomer. He is a boomer <laughs> as a bowler and in a lot of ways, so. Yeah, it and kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Mike Malice with the yeah. uh, animation. At the animation, the personality is great. And after this throw, I want to tell you about a really cool thing that Ernest uh, has done to, to memorialize the man who got him into this sport. How about that? Another strike for Ernest. On the right foot, Ernest wears one of his late father's bowling shoes in there. You get a look at it right there. He has worn it for the last 12 years. You can see it's different than the one he wears on the left. That is 
again, uh, to keep his dad close to him, the guy who got him into this sport, and to always have a little piece of his dad with him on every time he throws a ball. That's what the right shoe signifies for Ernest, and I'm telling you what, dad's watching right now, and gonna like what he sees. Can he do it again? He, oh, I was about to think that was gonna go down. That was down. a good shot, that was a good shot, just a little bit high. Just a little bit of leave the four pin. So that string of, he's had two strings of three strikes in a row, and that one will be interrupted by what will likely be the spare here for Ernest. He's going to start that one right, bring it over. Did he say, uh-oh, there? Is he a little worried about that? He's got a commanding 40-pin lead in this match. <laughs> All right, as long as you're not worried, I'm not worried. <laughs> if he started that thing any more right to come back to the left, he would have been in lane number 13 or 14. So it's a big That's lead right now. That's why you spare ball at that. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> So it's a big lead that Matt will have to overcome here. And he's doing what he needs to with a strike in the eighth. Matt, he's got to strike out now to uh, give himself a chance. Matt is the owner of 47 career 300 games. And as we talked about in last week's show, that's because he's so solid and so consistent. He is, and he bowls, he bowls a lot. He shows up to all the area tournaments, gets mm -hmm. a lot of competition in. And there's another nice, solid strike from Matt. So he is keeping the pressure on Ernest. Closes the gap a little bit. He's gonna need a little help from Ernest here. Ernest has got his grandfather, Ted Worth, known as Poppy here, watching him. Gets a lot of coaching from Poppy. How about that one? There you go. How about it is right. Uh, it's pretty, he knows exactly what it's going to do as soon as it leaves his hands. That's, that's a mark of a real bowler, isn't it? That was pretty impressive. Don't forget, later on in the show, we want you to stick around because you're going to get the Gary Pool's Great Grill Giveaway Watch and Win Word. Take that and go to WBBZ.TV and enter yourself a chance to win the Broilmaster H4 Deluxe Gas Grill that we're giving away every month here on WBBZ, and that's courtesy of our friends at Gary Pool's Leisure. Here's oh. Ernest. He said, uh-oh, but he didn't need it. That is his eighth strike in 10 frames for Ernest Hoover III. And that makes Ernest our winner. And we won't say that too loud because I'm not quite sure what his reaction might be. <laughs> oh, he knows. He knows, I know he knows. So Matt Sazowski's run of two in a row, including that second Beat the Champ trophy, gonna come to an end in a flurry of Ernest Hoover strikes. Oh! Good place for that one. Yeah. Now, again, he, he does he he seems to know exactly whether it's going to be good or bad as soon as he throws. Well, that it, right? was a good shot. Um, nine pins is, uh, is a tap. Not much you can do about that, and uh, it didn't hurt him in this case. He was already secured the win. So it doesn't matter that he'll even hit the gutter there, and he'll leave an open frame. It's going to be Ernest Hoover that is going to advance on as he puts the 245 score on the board. Impressive performance for Ernest. And he'll be facing a veteran bowler in Carl Kenyon. Yes, he will. That'll be the next opponent coming up for Ernest Hoover. Don't know if Carl arrived here in a limo. Probably not, right? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. I, you know, when, when that word started to circle around here at Lucky Lanes, we're like, what? He came in a limo? But hey, why not? This is why not? this is a cool moment for him and his family. And as you can tell, he is eating it up and loving it. So why not do it upright? That's right. Boy, Matt Sazowski has been a lot of fun to watch, and I do not doubt that we will see him again next month. There's just as good a chance he'll be part of our show at Manor Lanes 2 in Amherst. And don't forget, if you want to really scurry and hurry, you can catch the last 6 o'clock qualifier at Manor Lanes 2 on Tonawanda Creek Road in Amherst. That'll be uh, the qualifier for today and then tomorrow at 10, 12, and 3. And then we'll cut down to our top 24 to the final 9 tomorrow at 6.30. Good finish for Matt Zazowski. He'll shake hands with Ernest Hoover. 
but it is going to be Ernest Hoover that's going to move on with a 245 to 227 victory. Can't wait to talk to Ernest Hoover and get his reaction to the win here over Matt Sazowski. Don't go away. You're going to want to be here for that. We'll do that. Talk to Matt and to Ernest and preview our next match when we come back to Lucky Lanes in Fredonia right here on Beat the Champ. It's a 245 to 227 win for Ernest Hoover III over Matt Zazowski here at Lucky Lanes in Fredonia. He kind of came out fired up and came out throwing those strikes. And you, you, it's, we're not used to seeing you have to play a little catch up like that. And I threw it real bad in the second frame, which ultimately cost me. Try to get back, and then I threw a couple on little week tens that were just a little wide. And then uh, you know, he, he threw it pretty good. The crossover gave him a turkey, and that pretty much ended it there but you got to get those i mean i threw it bad and he took advantage of his breaks and he bowled well he bowled right well, well very good. Very you've well. been a you've been a regular on this show first time we've ever first ever two-time weekly winner so i'm yeah. pretty sure we're going to see you back here soon enough aren't we i hope so yeah. uh, all right I, I plan on it but we'll Matt. see all right well now uh, now to our winner and uh i'm afraid to get this mic anywhere near you <laughs> but, but uh tell us about it uh, Ernest. I didn't know what to expect of coming out here, and Matt's a very good bowler. I met him back at Transit, and I'm just happy, and just, I want to keep going on. Well, you came You'll here a lot today. more. Thank you, thank you. So it was, it was fun. To, it was fun to watch. How'd you channel all that energy? I just <laughs> you know, watching the pros and that, and just you gotta block everybody out. You, you did know? a fine job. Mm -hmm. Right, except the cheering section that helped oh, you out a little bit too, talk. right? Yep. It's always good to have a cheering section. Well, the cheering section's gonna stick around. So is Ernest, he's got another match. He's gonna go up against Carl Kenyon. We'll get you ready for that one when we come back to Lucky Lanes in Fredonia right here on Beat the Champ. We are ready for our second match as Ernest Hoover will defend his title against that man, 56-year-old Carl Kenyon from Lockport, New York. And if that name sounds familiar, it is among the great names in Western New York bowling. His brother Gary, his oh, you, he's telling me he's the better of them, right? Oh, 19. He says he's 19. All right, I'll go with that. I'm good with that, Carl. Um, but as We're I was have to mentioning, take that his, away then. His, his brother Gary was on our first set of Beat the Champ shows up at the Rapids Bowling Center and actually was our second week winner. And I'm sure Carl and his brother have been battling each other on these lanes all over Western New York for a lot of years. That's right. Carl's, Carl's his baby, baby brother. Carl's the youngest of the family. We, remember we saw um, their dad here. He was. Um, at the first telecast. That's right. Dad. Yeah, that's right. We, I think we interviewed him as well, too. So That's right. We're at Lucky Lanes in Fredonia, New York. This is our second match of the day. And here's our defending champion, Ernest Hoover III. And if you missed that first match, shame on you. But wait till you see what you're going to get out of this guy. Come on! You're going to get a lot of enthusiasm, you're going to get a lot of life, and you're going to get a lot of strikes That's if right. anything is the same as it was in the 245-227 win for Ernest in his first match over Matt Zazowski. And Ernest has been one of the more entertaining and exuberant bowlers we've had on the show so far, and that's what makes it fun. Absolutely. Ernest came here to have fun. So here he'll go in the second frame, and then as soon as he throws this, we're going to welcome in a special guest here to Lucky Lanes. She's not special here because she's been here. She is part of this place, but she's special for us to have on the broadcast. And there you go. Two straight strikes for Ernest Hoover. And we want to welcome in the owner here of Lucky Lanes in Fredonia, Nancy Nosick. And Nancy, thank you very much for joining us. It's been a pleasure for us to be down here. You guys have been wonderful hosts, and it's a great area for bowling. Tell me a little bit about what this thank means you. to have all this attention thrown on good old Lucky Lanes here. Well, it's exciting to have it here, for one thing. And everybody in the community has been really excited about it coming yeah. down here to have this. We've sensed that. We definitely have sensed that. The crowds have been great. People have been into it and excited about it. And that's what's made this a lot of fun. 
Carl's going to leave that 10 pin there on his second frame. Well, you go back to the literally the third week of operation here right. of Lucky Lanes, right. then modern lanes back in the late 50s. And as you can see, there's uh, the some of the groundbreaking. Yes. Uh, you know, tell us a little bit yeah. about that's the groundbreaking for the expansion right. Um, right. Uh, of the lanes. Tell us a little bit about your how you got involved here at Lucky Lanes. Well, I. After my husband had opened, he'd been open two weeks, and so I was here visiting a friend from Dunkirk, and she said there was a new bowling alley that opened, so we come to bowl. And then and, and the rest is history, history, right? It changed your life, didn't it? <laughs> so literally two weeks after this place opens, you get a chance to meet Lucky Lou. Right. And right, there you right, go. It's right. a it's it's a wonderful here. life of the lanes, isn't it? Yeah. What um, and there's a picture there of Lucky Lou, and that's where we get the name Lucky Lanes from, right? Right. right. Why did they call him Lucky Lou? That I actually I really don't know that. Because he met you, of course. And, and, no, no, they called him that before. That's how he got Lucky Lou. A lot of those girls have to stick together here. Yeah. <laughs> Good strike there for Carl Kenyon in the third frame as he continues to keep the heat on Ernest as well too. So. So you uh, moved here and then now uh, you had to work here. You worked here for. I. Well, I, when I moved here, I worked at the infirmary in Dunkirk. Okay. And uh, then after we were married, I worked both places for a did while. Did you really? Yes, I did. So you said you I, served tables, you bartended? I used to write on tables and I bartended. I worked the lunch counter. Which, is, which brings us to this menu that uh, we found. <laughs> You got to see this. Man, 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 man. We're looking to order. Here, I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to hold it up and show everybody. Uh, you know, and then the coolest part about it, Sue, is tell everybody a little bit about some of the prices in here. Well, you could get a broiled T-bone steak for two dollars and twenty-five cents. Do you remember this? <laughs> Just barely, because I, it's like I said, I didn't live here at the time I, when I met him, but I came later. But this was open. He, you know, yeah. 30 cents for a hamburger? <laughs> this wasn't that long ago. It, this no, is no, it wasn't. It's uh, oh. it, it's pretty amazing to look at some of these it prices is. and to think that there was a day it's back in time when, when you could get, uh, you know, a, a steak for $2.95. So so here, I you know, I, I, I'll i show you in a second after Ernest throws here in the fourth oh. frame. Got a tough split, oh. and he's not going to be able to pull that off. And that's the first really little hiccup we've seen from Ernest so far. So, um, but it's amazing. So here, I, you know, I got a five dollar bill. So with steaks for everybody. <laughs> if you're still going to hold to these <laughs> prices, so <laughs> buy everybody a steak. We're going to talk about food. Hey, you pay attention to what you're doing over there. <laughs> Who's running the TV show, you or me? I want the food. <laughs> well, we'll get you food after you win. I'll buy you food after you win. <laughs> Everybody's got to chime in here, don't they? What's it been like to spend 50 plus years dealing with guys like that in the bowling alley? Well, it's been fun. <laughs> it really has been a fun time. It's, uh... The bowling community like, is a great community, actually. It is, and, and if we have, it's just like family here after what some of them have bowled here for so many years. You've seen them, you know, you, you them have like, kids and... Oh, the, our kids are bringing back their kids. It's, uh, you know, it's really fun to watch. It, and, it's kind of cool. You've seen generations come through here, right? But it makes right? get older and older. Right. <laughs> Um, you know, obviously this sport has been good to you and your family. A couple of shows ago we had a chance to talk to your son who now runs the bowling yes. alley. I mean, this is a family business for you. Yes. Uh, how fortunate do you, has it, do you feel and have you guys been that you can have a life in a fun sport like this? Well, now it's fun. When we first started, it wasn't because there was lots of bills that had to be paid. Right. But now it's it's a lot of fun, and you've got to meet so many people, mm -hmm. you know. And I and people come in that I haven't seen. In fact, over this few weekends, look, I mean, I've seen look people at what I look, seen. look at what it looked like around here back in those days. Well, huh? there wasn't any uh, anybody around us when he first built the place. There was. Uh, the gas station, Mobile gas station across the street. That's what I It was a two-lane road with maple trees on both sides. You it, said was it was beautiful. beautiful. It was. It's so different and, now. Yeah. 
and nobody could understand why he built. Why did he build way out there where there wasn't any? Why, why would he build there, on that intersection of the see, Thruway and Route 60, there was right? there maple trees on both sides of that road. They, that's when they started. I actually had ants that lived up here in Dunkirk. They lived on, they lived on a farm up here in Dunkirk. Did they? Mm -hmm. We used to go and uh, get well water. Well, yeah. yeah. So this was always the country to me. Yeah. Right. Well, we've got a good match going on here, Nancy. We've yes, got we pretty do. much an even match between these two guys. So thank you very much for having us down here. It's been a pleasure. You guys have been wonderful hosts. This is a great community, a great bowling community, and, and we really enjoyed our trip down here. Thank you. Best of thank luck you. with everything here nice at Lucky Lanes. Have you here. Nancy thank Nosek you. is the owner here of thank Lucky you. Lanes, and we thank her for her time. And we want to get back to what is a really tight and competitive match going on right now right. between Carl and Ernest. And if Ernest keeps getting those pins to drop like that. We're going to be back with more Beat the Champ bowling action in just a minute. Welcome back to Beat the Champ. Let's get back to the action here on WBBZ TV. So here's Carl in the eighth frame. Got it. Got it's similar to a shot that Ernest had in the last match against mm -hmm. Matt. But like I said, they're great equalizers. Yep. There's great shots you throw and you get nothing for it. So. Yep. Carl Bulls regularly on Tuesday nights at the Alley Brant Lanes mm -hmm. up in Niagara County. 51 career 300 games for him and he has won some state championships and many other individual and team titles over a 44-year bowling career. Don't forget, at the end of our broadcast, following our next match, we're going to have the watch and win word for the Gary Pools Great Grill giveaway. You'll get that word, and you'll be able to register to win the Broilmaster H4 Deluxe Gas Grill if you go to WBBZ.TV and enter to win. And we talked about the great equalizer. He gets a break on lane eight and gets tapped on lane seven. Threw a perfect shot on lane seven, left a nine pin. Yep. That's how this He'll, game works. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? So yep. he will finish off that spare in the ninth frame and... Has a 34 pin lead. That's a big lead, but we've seen Ernest get hot and throw lots of strikes. And if he can throw a whole bunch of them here, he might have a shot. At least put the pressure on Carl. Well, win or lose, I don't know that we've had anybody more excited to be here than Ernest Hoover III, and, and with his cheering section and with the limo that took him down here, he has embraced the fun of being on Beat the Champ like nobody else has. Absolutely, this has been, this has been a good time for everybody to watch him bowl. And I think that's what, what's been really cool about this show, is it lets everyday Western New Yorkers who love the sport of bowling be TV stars for a little while and get a chance to show off for their friends and their neighbors and their co-workers and say, hey, make sure you watch me on TV this week. And that's what was cool about this show even for all those years. Absolutely, so everybody needs to get over to Manor 2 yes, and they give do. it a try. Got one, one more spot today. Right, one more spot at six o'clock today. So as soon as the show ends at five, scurry on over there and then you've got chances to qualify tomorrow at 10 12 and 3 with the bowl off at 6 30 tomorrow night to determine our next set of qualifiers for the shows that will be taped on april 19th at manor lanes two and amber it's a spare here for ernest and i don't think that's going to get him enough to be able to win this one but again a nope, Carl will be moving on to uh, Carl Mike's will be circle. moving on, and uh, the Kenyon family tradition of winning on Beat the Champ will continue. But pretty sure we're going to see more Ernest Tuber, and I hope so because he has been a lot of fun to watch. So Ernest posts a 180 score, and Carl Kenyon just got to safely get himself through the ninth and tenth frame. And he will advance on and he can move towards a uh, notch closer to equal bragging rights with his brother. His brother Gary, a 2 and 1 record in two shows here on Beat the Champ. So Carl will be 1 and 0 oh on one show. But if he can win his next match against Mike Zarcone, then Carl will join his brother with a trophy. And I know they're very, very competitive, so. As you would expect brothers to be. And one more roll here.
here for Carl to finish it off. doesn't really matter that he left himself a bunch of pins there. It's still going to clinch a victory for Carl. 222? Two, two, yep, 222 to 181, 180 win for Carl Kenyon over Ernest Hoover the third. Uh, boy, it was a lot of fun to watch Ernest. It's a lot of fun to watch an old pro like Carl. We're going to get to watch him again. We will talk to both guys and get their reaction to this match and preview our next one between another great Buffalo Bowler and Mike Zarcone against Carl Kenyon. That's coming up next when we return to Lucky Lanes in Fredonia right here on Beat the Champ. It's a 222 to 180 win for Carl Kenyon over Ernest Hoover the third and a fun match to watch because both of you guys are uh, incredibly entertaining and fun to watch. Ernest, I got to say, uh, you you were a treat to see your Thank exuberance you. and your enthusiasm. Thank Where does that come from? From my family, my father. So it's, and bowling, I love bowling, so it's where it comes from. Right, well, he's an old pro, and he put you yeah. to the test a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he did. He's but, old school, and yep. But I'm sure we're going to see you back here again, I will right? be back. All right, I'll well, definitely get, will get be the back. limo fired up, have a nice I ride will. back to Wheatfield, and keep that limo ready for next I month, will. right? Thank you. Another bowling family, the Kenyon family. I'm not old school. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm as young as they get. I go after it. And when I seen Ernie bowl and getting excited that first match, it just reminded me of me years ago. <laughs> All right, so, well, you, well it, apparently jawing with me over food in the middle of the match didn't distract well, you. So, well, so here, here's the I menu. Mean, uh, Order yourself something and get it eaten before your next match against Zarcone. That's not a fat joke, is it? That is not a fat <laughs> joke. Absolutely not. So, But, you know, I want you to have the right amount of energy there. Yes, so, sir. All right, Carl is going to order off the menu, and he'll see if he can order up a win over another great Buffalo oh. Bowler. That's Mike Zarcone. That's our next match when Beat the Champ comes back right after this. Final match of the day here at Lucky Lanes in Fredonia. A couple of old pros there. Mike Zarcone on the left will battle our winner of the last match, Carl Kenyon. And we've seen Mike plenty of times here on the show. He's going to start things off. This is Mike's third Beat the Champ appearance. He has one win and a couple of losses in those two shows. But um, he always seems to run up uh, against a red-hot competitor because we know Mike is one of the best bowlers in this town. And there's a good start for there's Mike. There's a good start. What makes him such a good bowler? He's got great rotation on the ball. He's got great carry percentage. I think I've said that before when he's bowled. Uh, he's just got a very special role, and it creates a lot of room and a lot of carry. And that's the name of the game is knocking down pins, right? Well, it's a little bit of a different personality opponent here for Carl Kenyon. Uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, Mike is a little more quiet and and, and buttoned up compared to Ernest Hoover the third. So uh, Carl will be might be the one with the outlandish personality <laughs> in this one. But we saw Carl churn on a very good solid 222 to 180. And there you go. Good solid start for Carl Kenyon. I've seen these two bowl each other for so many years. Now we bowled uh, Travel League together. Um, when the All Stars were still in, you got to think this is the 30, 40th, 50th time these two guys have bowled each other. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, I'll have to correct myself because you know we, we we have all the bowlers fill out an information sheet for us, and and uh, when asked his age, Carl put 19 on there. 19. So. Uh, he, he yelled at me when I gave a different age that his wife provided to us. So we we'll go with 19. I guess you're going to lose your feel, right? Absolutely. 19-year-old Carl Kenyon <laughs> rolling here in the second frame. A lot of twist coming off the hands there. And the result is what do you want? You know what's nice about this show is we've seen the likes of Carl Kenyon, the likes of John Massiello, people that have been around this game for 20 years, 30 years, and are still just as good as they were. Mm -hmm. And then the young and up-and-comers, yep. like Chad Mee and even Ernest, you know? It's yeah. just such a wide variety of people that can take part in this game and do it very well. 
And Mike Zarcone will leave the 10 pin. 48 years old from Tonawanda. Works at Tops full time, but we pretty much know bowling is kind of his full time gig, yeah. right? Yeah. Mike is very serious about it and very successful about it. 2014 Open Hour Masters Champion, which means in our matches here at Lucky Leagues, we have the last two Open Hour Champions. We had Tony Dolan last year's winner a couple of weeks ago. Well, those are the people that are going to show up to bowl the qualifiers. Absolutely. The great bowlers from our area. Yep. And like Jeff Martin said, this is a highly competitive area for bowling, and yep. there's great competition and great bowlers and all around not, Western New York. And if you're not familiar with it, the Open Hour Masters is just about the biggest test of bowling here in Western New York. One of a high-profile tournament, a lot of bowlers, a lot of bowling uh, to make bowling. your way through. Um, when you call yourself the Open Hour Champion, you are essentially saying you are the best bowler in Buffalo in that given You've year. You've worked hard to win that title. Yep. It's coming up soon too, isn't it? It comes it's up in May, May. right? Yeah. Yep. So we're coming up. Uh, it'll be a next. It'll be next month. So um, make sure you keep your ears and eyes and ears open to go over and check that bowling out because when it starts to get down to the final four, five, and six guys, it is fun to watch. It is. And there's a lot of spectators and all. It's, it's a really great electric atmosphere. I think that's been, of all the things I've had the pleasure of covering in the sports world in Western New York over almost 30 years now, that's one of my more favorite events because you know it means so much to people in this town. It's everyday working guys like Carl and Mike, uh, but with a chance to excel at the sport that they love. And, and that's what makes not only this show fun, but makes the, something like the Open Hour fun as well, too. And you bowl on a tougher, a tougher shot. It's a, more of a sport pattern of mm -hmm. sport condition, and yet everybody shows up to bowl it. You know, there's no talk of it being harder. It's expected to be harder. and Everybody comes and brings. Oh, there's a little talk of that, isn't there? <laughs> you know, there's always a little grumbling. At least Blaze Palumbo used to always say there was always plenty of grumbling, wasn't there? Ben Palumbo is first and foremost in keeping Western New York as strong as uh -huh. it was as a bowling community by making the, forcing the lanes to be a little bit tougher. Yeah. Too tough sometimes, right? But hey, that's that's what as it should as, be. As long as you're all bowling on the right. same condition, that's all that matters. Exactly. There's a look at the Castellone Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram scoreboard that shows Carl with strikes on his first two frames and now looking to pick up the spear here on frame number three. And he'll get it. So a couple of strikes for Carl and a spare. One strike and two spares for Mike early on here to get this match started at Lucky Lanes in Fredonia. This is our final match of our three-week run here in our competition to Beat the Champ. Make sure you stick around for next week's show. It's going to feature some of the great young high school and even younger bowlers from the area. And that'll be our next show next week. That'll be a lot of fun. And then we will re-pick up the competition again at Manor Lanes 2, and that will come up in May. So here's Carl. As we mentioned in our last match, he had a 12-week run on Beat the Champ back in the 80s. This is the 30th anniversary of that week. Well, he shouted some encouragement, and it listened a little bit. It listened, and then it gave him the true tap, the ninth Yeah, pin. yeah. We've seen a lot of nine pins on these lanes, too, because the ball is, now that the lanes are broken, the lanes are more broken down, mm -hmm. the ball is driving a little harder. It drives right through, leaves that nine pin standing. So it's really just missing the nine pin as it's cutting through the one three pocket. So what's the adjustment for these guys to, to play for that a little bit? Uh, there's, that's a that's a tough one. Uh -huh. This really is a pocket flush hit. So all you could do is look a little right, let the ball, you want it to catch just a hair brighter than it is. Mm -hmm. The action will continue on Beat the Champ in just a minute. Welcome back to Beat the Champ. Maybe that's why Ernest Hoover III brought the limo down. He, you know, either the driver's seat was gonna bounce back and forth. And a couple of pins gonna be left there for Mike. A little unusual from him. Don't forget, following this match, we're gonna have our Gary Pool's Great Grill giveaway. We'll give you the watch and win word. And once you get it, you can go to WBBZ.TV and register to win the Broilmaster H4 Deluxe Grill. Just in time for the grilling season. WBBZ.TV to register to win. We're gonna give one of them away every month, thanks to Gary Pool's and Leisure. And Mike finishes off that spare in the ninth frame. Still tight, right? Yep, Carl can come in here though and he can shut him out. Carl goes off the sheet. 
Carl will be our winner. Off the sheet. You know what that one is? Off the sheets. See, I, it went right over my head there. <laughs> what does that mean now? Off the sheet means strikes the rest of the way. Okay. So, in this case, it's four. All right. But so, no matter where you are, if you strike out, it's that's off right. the so sheet. That's right. So, when someone tells their score. Not like off the hook, but off the sheet. Like I went nine spare in the first and off the sheet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like that. That's good. <laughs> All right, let's see if Carl can go off the sheet. Well, so far, so good. He's got strikes in the eighth, strikes in the ninth. Trying to add a couple of more, win this match. Then we're gonna let him go get that uh, steak that he was salivating about that in our last match. That 225 steak. Yeah, that $2, I don't know if they'll still, if you can get one for 225 here. It's they not, need to hide that It's not menu. 1963 They anymore. don't want anyone finding that menu. No, it's not six, 1963, unfortunately. Tenth frame for Carl Kenyon. Carl's always had himself quite a regiment. Seen a lot of that from a lot of these guys. Yeah. It, 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 and whether they need it or not, they just yeah. do it because he's that's, they always do it. He's been taking the walk back here, taking a breather. He's definitely got his, a pattern of how he likes to set up. I almost feel like he talks to himself a little bit too. Bowlers are notoriously superstitious. Yes! There you go, how about that? Good reaction from Carl as well, too. He knows that's a big one. A big strike in the 10th frame. So this one is... Him a winner. That, all right, well, there you go. I was just going to say this one's going right down to the end. And he knew it. But it's an 11-pin lead, and that will be enough for Carl to take home the trophy. So he can join his brother as a trophy winner here on Beat the Champ. They'll each have one of those trophies on their mantelpiece. His brother won back in our first month back at Rapids Bowling Center in Niagara Falls on the second week. And I'm sure he's reminded his brother about that for the last couple of months. I think he's gonna go off the sheet. He is one way, he's one away from going off the sheet. There you go. I love it. Four straight to finish up with. Can he make it five? All right, here you go. Let's watch. Oh, no sheet this time. But he does get the trophy. Doesn't watching this bowling make you want to go bowl though? Yeah, it Everybody. does. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody needs to get down to that qualifier. 235 on the board for <laughs> Carl Kenyon. Going to be enough to give him the win. And Mike Sarcone will finish things out here. And Mike's had a little tough luck for as good a bowler as he is. He's had a little tough luck running into yes. some hot bowlers when he bowls on this show. He's only got the one win. And this will be his third loss right now. And there, there's not a whole lot of people that beat Mike Zarcone on a regular basis. True. No matter where they're bowling. He'll keep trying. I'm sure he will. I don't think he's gonna stop. So one more to post the final score and then we'll get a chance to talk to our winners. And a good way to finish it. It's a 235 to 204 win for Carl Kenyon, and we're going to present him that big giant beat the champ trophy, something that he remembers from about 30 years ago. We'll ask him a little bit about that. We'll see, we'll find out if the trophy's gotten any bigger over the years. <laughs> Carl Kenyon is a winner over Mike Zarko, and we'll talk to both guys when we come back to wrap things up here at, at Lucky Lanes in Fredonia. You're watching Beat the Champ.
Carl Canyon is our winner over Mike Zarcone, 235 to 204. Boy, you just keep running into good bowlers bowling well, don't you? Wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> you know, I mean, it takes us a whole 10 frames to rattle off all of your incredible accomplishments, but for some reason, this thing has is, is got a hold on you, doesn't it? Yeah, got a little bite on me, but uh, it wasn't too good today. Couldn't, couldn't repeat shots too good. Well, I think I'm safe to say, because I think you've been here every week, you'll be back next month, I'm pretty sure, right? Ho hopefully. All right, well, we know we know this guy's going to be back next month, too, don't we, Sue? God willing, I'll be here. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So you, th you ha this is your anniversary of your 12-week run? 30 years ago, yeah. Wow, Very how's fortunate. that? <laughs> and we're handing it to you again. Yeah. So good luck. Thank you. We want to know if the trophy's gotten bigger or smaller over those years. Well, you know, my dad, this is too far. He's going to be 94. It was too far for him to come here. I really wanted to win two shows so he could come to Manor 2 because it's close to his house. So, uh, well, it was a lot of pressure today. <laughs> good job. And you <laughs> answered the call. Yeah. Good stuff. And, and the emotions, I know, are important for you as well, too. So we can't wait to see you come back. Manor 2 will be you, the next time we get a chance to see you. Enjoy that trophy oh, for a couple fabulous. of weeks here. Yeah. All right, that's Carl Kenyon. He's our winner. Sue and I will come back to wrap up our wonderful run here at Lucky Lanes in Fredonia when Beat the Champ returns right after this. I can't help Sue but think of the emotion that we saw from Carl on winning and getting a chance to go back to have his dad come watch him. That's what's so great about this sport and about this show. I know we saw that a lot this week. Ernest with his dad's shoe and Carl with his dad wanting his dad to come see him bowl. It really truly is a family sport. It really is. And we had a wonderful run here. Uh, the the Nosek family were great hosts for us here uh, at Lucky Lanes in Fredonia. We saw some really good bowling, some really high level performances. I know the lanes were, were really, really nice, but that kept them true. They, we had 10 pins. We had a lot of adjustments. We had we had everything this, this month. Yeah, we did. Well, in two weeks, uh, Carl's going to come back and defend his title up at Manor 2, up in Amherst. But next week, we've got a great show for you. Some of the best high school bowlers in Western New York are going to show off a little bit for the cameras here at Lucky Lanes. That'll be next week's show. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Beat the Champ.